Good morning, grade eights. Okay, so today is the first video of things that I think are important before you get to grade nine. <laughs> so some of this is gonna be a review, but I promise we're gonna do some questions like this to ramp it up a little bit for those of you who uh, you know, need a challenge or already catch on to this. But I'm just gonna highlight the things that I think are super important before you get to grade nine. No matter what grade nine teacher you get, the things that they're gonna to wanna to see that you are uh, mastering is um, integers, fractions, and some basic equation work. So we're going to go roll back and we're going to take a look at bed mass, which for you French immersion kids is probably pronounced bed mass and then ha 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 or something weird like that. All right, so we talk about brackets get done first, then exponents, and then division and multiplication in the order that they appear. Okay, some kids get confused and they think we always have to do division first, but it's division and multiplication from left to right, just like you read a book. And then the next set is addition and subtraction, and again, that's from left to right. Okay, all right, so let's take a look here, okay? When we take a look through this question, it says 12 divided by, and then in brackets, four minus two. So if you were ever in my grade nine class, you have to circle the step that you're doing first. That's worth a mark, actually. We're gonna do the brackets first. We rewrite the question, because I never give a lot of work, okay? It's quality over quantity. And then four minus two is two, and now you only have one step left, and that's 20 divided by two, which is 10, and you put your answer in a nice square. Okay, the next example is six squared, and then I want it to everyone to be introduced to this symbol if you haven't seen it yet in grades seven and eight. That means multiply, as does bracket side by each like this. So we're going to start with 6 squared, and 6 squared is 6 times 6, remember, not 6 times 2. So 36 times 10, and your answer would be 360, and you'd put it in a nice square like that. Okay, so now we're going to move on to a little bit longer of a question. We're going to look through, there are no brackets. We're going to look through, there are no exponents. So now we know with bed mass, we're going to look for our division and multiplication. And our division looks like this. So 12, and then 8 divided by 2 is 4, so minus 4 plus 2. And now we take a look back through. There's no uh, division or multiplication left, so we'll move straight to the adding and subtracting, and you can just do it right as, as it goes. 12 minus 4 is 8, and 8 plus 2 is 10. Okay, now over here, we've got a brackets, but then bed mass is also required within a set of brackets. And I'm gonna do some pretty tough grade nine and grade 10 questions in the next lesson that I videotape. So this is just the start. So in here you would do this three minus two, but we still have brackets, or three times two, I'm sorry. Three times two is six. And then remember what I just said earlier, brackets side by each means multiply. But now we have to finish off the brackets here. And 10 minus six is four, and four times five is 20. And that's your final answer. Okay. So this is a question that typically my grade nines would do on probably the second or third day of reviewing of integers, because this is a unit that you'll revisit in grade grade nine. It's it's a unit, uh, unit two, actually. Okay, so brackets, exponents, division and multiplication, addition and subtraction. And then you might say, well, what is this? Well, that's really a division question, because this is a fraction, and a line in a fraction means to divide. And how we deal with this is you take a look at the numerator, you do that first, you do the denominator, which is second, and then lastly, you're gonna divide that. So I'm just gonna walk you through typically how I would approach this question, okay? Three, and then inside here we have exponents, so times four squared is 16. And then I would rewrite the question because that's what I expect my kids to do all the time. So we still have brackets to take care of. We have three, and then 16 plus eight is 24. And then minus 16 plus 4 over 14 minus 9. And so then you could do this piece here. And 24 times 3 is 72 minus. And now we're going to move on to this piece right here. And remember back up here I said we do this piece first. So 16 plus 4 is 20. And 14 minus 9 is 5. And now we still have to do division and multiplication before we can do this addition. So you're going to take care of this. And that's just a simple division question. So you're gonna get 72 minus, and 20 divided by five is four, and your answer is going to be 68. Okay, so that's just a little mini lesson for the day. Five minutes of watching me and listening to my soothing voice, and uh, 
I'm going to uh, snap a pic of a worksheet if you're interested in trying it. And for those of you who whip through it, um, I've got a higher level one. So your mom can just uh, shoot me a text and tell me, yeah, we'd like the tougher one. And that should keep you busy for a little while. All right.